right here. Hello there. Welcome to Bead With Me. I'm Kay, your host from Vienna, Virginia of Stars Beads. How is everyone doing today? I had a fabulous weekend. I've been busy catching a lot of lettuce from our garden that is exploding right now and not having enough time to keep up with you know Friday Night Live and trying to have a family weekend you guys are keeping me busy <laughs> but how's everybody doing did everyone have a good weekend hey Christine I want to be like your cat having the life of a cat <laughs> would be fabulous, wouldn't it? Hey, get that back to me, I need that. All right, we got a live audience here today. How's everybody doing, everybody, everybody, everybody? All right, so a couple things. Friday Night Live was awesome. Again, we showed a lot of rocks. Okay, so if you guys are not in the giveaways, I'm giving away pendants. I'm giving away this necklace right here. Okay, so if you missed out last Friday, I, uh, had made this gemstone necklace, this chakra necklace, and we'll be giving that away. So whatever is um, inspiring you and making you create, I want to see you guys post that for me, please. Okay, so just post that on the Stars Beads page, tag us on there, um, and you can enter to win, okay? Um, on top of that, I'm trying to take kind of votes because again, we get our chance to uh, choose. So you can check out right here, but I'm gonna be throwing up a little uh, actual poll, but I'm looking for, do we wanna do bubble beads or do we wanna do buttons, you guys? Any, any particulars? Looks like we have some people sneaking in. Hey, Dina, sorry, I didn't get a chance to get those out. Um, anyway, okay, so, and congratulations to all the winners on Friday night of all of those giveaways, and we will be giving more away this Friday, so make sure you join us on whatever we decide to choose. All right, get some more hellos as people are hopping on here, so, hello, Miss Paula. We got a couple Paulas on here. Let's see. And Michelle from Barbados. So it's been pretty crazy with all the riots and stuff, you guys. Um, you know, I know that we all have differing opinions, but, you know, we certainly don't bring that on here. But, you know, don't add fuel to the fire, you guys. Like, all that stuff that is going on, you know. Um, certainly have other ways that we can speak up and so many platforms that we can broadcast those feelings in a more productive way. So, um so that's what the show is about, is creativity and uh, keeping that energy happy and trying to put those positive vibes out there, okay, you guys? And that's why I want the mission is to continue creating, which, you know, although this has been quite the changeover, you know, um, but that was also the birth of this particular show, so to speak. So in the same respects, it has been, you know, a great way to bring people closer together and, um, but at the same time, you know, we got to work together because we are in this together. Okay. The whole world is in this together. Um, anyway, enough about all that. So I have been busy because since I am on here a little bit more regularly, um, I have been having to make sure I, you know, kind of trying to wear nice jewelry for you guys to keep you guys inspired as well as, you know, having some cool fingernail polish. And so I was playing around and I was kind of thinking maybe this would make a good episode. So, you know, we're getting to summertime and we uh, want to be maybe taking some of that old jewelry. We're always trying to do that actually, right? And trying to kind of upcycle it, change it up and make it a little bit more um, exciting. So um, I thought <laughs> I would bring nail polish into the mix. So I brought my little nail pail. Okay, this was a little something that my um, son had gotten me for Christmas. And so I don't know about you guys, but let me just dig in here. Hold on one second. Okay. But I don't know if you guys have like jewelry like this at home. Those like sparkly bracelets and yeah, you know, they're fun, but you know, maybe, maybe those are 
you're you're all all done wearing them they've been sitting in your box forever let me see if i can get a better uh photo for you you know and it looks pretty okay nothing nothing wrong with with them but i was thinking about maybe changing it to ready okay so here here's the style here okay what do you guys think about going from here to there look how fun that is <laughs> That was like the magic of TV. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. So I just chose a little bit of polish. Okay, so some of the, I was working with as different colors work. You know, I just took one that had lost its stretch and I was messing around with some different colors and literally we can just paint them on there. So the colors that I had used in this one was part of the sinful colors line. I did this matted uh, purple and this um, turquoise green is what I had used to um, do this color set. Isn't that totally fun? <laughs> so break out some of those uh, things. So if you guys watch the Memorial Day of how to clean your jewelry, okay, so you can get your thing all polished nice, get it all, all dried off, okay, and then you can get to uh, painting it yeah, once the sparkle is whatever colors you want. So I thought, let's see, there's my one. Oh, I'm wearing them. <laughs> okay, so I thought we'd take this one here. Okay, and it's already dark colors, right? So I thought I'd brighten it up, and I'm going to take a color that looks like this because I, I like it loud here. Okay, and I'm going to see. So I'm, I'm just going to paint really lightly trying to save my board here so we'll see if I can keep this clear okay but literally <laughs> I thought this would just be fun you can and you can see how it works and it'll dry fast and then um, so you're gonna just take your polish and you can see I'm gonna I was gonna see if I can just get the center dot maybe yeah I'm gonna paint the whole thing because I want more color I think you could do certainly any any colors that you have so break that nail polish out you guys because I know we've been sitting around having time we can be giving ourselves a manicure and pedicure uh, to yourself as well as your jewelry you know so if you have you know all you crafters out there I'm sure you have like different paint brushes at home so they can help you uh, just take off the edges but you can see how that color ends up popping look at that isn't that awesome looking? So maybe I'm gonna keep some some black too. So maybe I'll do two pink ones. And I like um, I found that some of the translucent colors look really nice when you have some of those translucent crystals, and they can't even tell. I'll show you one that I did. And you know, nail polish doesn't take all that long to dry. You can do a little portion at a time. By the time you get around to it. Oh, Kathy, you'll have to post what, what yours uh, ended up looking like. But I thought this would just be a little fun one. And then, well, well, I'm going to do one black one and we'll leave that there. And then I'll start on this one. You can see it doesn't take very long. And it's okay if you put a little, um, I, I don't mind leaving a dot because it kind of looks like it bubbles up. You know, but you can also, um, I find you could also wear it down so you can see seeing how that looks. What do you guys think? Okay, and then I only had one of these so I didn't want to open it, but there, what I would also recommend, once you are done with all this, you're gonna let this dry, you could do a second coat if you want to, okay? But 
I'm going to take this one since it, since it is dry. Okay, like this. And I would recommend using a glaze. So for anybody who is, you know, wanting, say, even your sterling from uh, turning and tarnishing, this is a great glaze. This is made by a company called Vintage. And you can kind of think of the idea as being like a clear uh, nail polish kind of a sealant, but it's a patina sealant and uh, very, very easy to use. So you uh, take, take a brush applicator. Um, it takes about 10, 20 minutes to, to dry. And uh, what that does is, is protecting it from the elements, okay? So from your skin, uh, the oils, but you know, it is a finish. So, you know, if there's a lot of wear and tear, you may need to reapply. But at the same time, you know, um, I think this is also a great one. So if you're allergic to some of the metals, this can be a, uh, a great, gloss that you can put to put a layer between you and that metal okay so it's great on the inside of uh you know some of those maybe uh col silver collars that i'm thinking about okay but this is a great glaze um we carry that here available for 12 dollars. okay so if you want that but that's something i would uh put onto here to help help seal it in okay All right guys, I thought that was a quick and fun project and, and don't forget, oh, um, I also wanted to mention here at the end uh, that I, I'm going to have kits for this because um, I've had some requests. Obviously, I don't have the pendant because I had made it, So, um, but I have these really beautiful uh, chakra pendants that I really like going with it. So if you guys are interested in getting this kit, because I know uh, for Friday Night Live, uh, I had done the little bags available for you. But if you want the whole kit in Kaburu, because you just love that style, so it'll include both styles of chain, okay, and the antique copper, because that's what we use. Um, I'm not sure if I can offer it in any other color sets, but I can certainly look since I am going to be making uh, kits made to order, you guys. So a lot of the things that you see here on Bead With Me, Obviously, I probably have most of the components. Um, otherwise, I hate to tease you. And if I am, then I will try to get those ordered and out to you. But I know that there have been some requests for some of the kits and, and things so that it's just an easy package to throw together. So I am working on that. Um, our time in the store is still limited. Our staff here is pretty much limited to myself. So um, yours truly. So those that uh, were, were with us on the Friday Night Live, hang tight. I've got your things added. If you want to know ahead of time, you can certainly message me, but I will be sending those out to you guys here, uh, probably here later today, and then get this uh, shipped out so you can still receive it. Okay, so otherwise, all right, Pam, you'll have to see. I think I can do it in like a silver, a silver color tone maybe. Um, but we can certainly get that in your package before we send it out. And don't forget, you guys, we are carrying masks. Um, Virginia is uh, technically uh, doing a slow open here in Northern Virginia. So it's our first first kind of week. So happy June. Um, you can technically go to quite a few stores. Uh, our store here, um, we've been really liking the way that we've been working. So if you want to set up an appointment to come in store, you can certainly do that. That's available actually right above here on Facebook. So there is uh, virtual appointments you can set up. So if you're not local, you can just give me a ring and I'll pick up just like you're seeing me here. Okay, only I will be there for you. Okay, so you can show me your project and I can help you get whatever supplies you are looking for. Okay, otherwise you guys have a fantastic Monday and we will see you tomorrow at two o'clock. Have a great day.